Go wide mobility. This morning, I'm gonna test my mobility. Oh, average duration 12 minutes. Test yourself at least two hours after getting up. Well, it's been at least two hours. It's been at least two hours, although I have sat on the sofa for the last six hours playing Call of Duty. Avoid taking your test after a workout. Pick a day when you don't have severe muscle soreness, but joints are okay. Uh, I'm, all, I'm always sore at the moment, isn't it, Carla? Ideally, perform your test every month under the same condition. I want to hold myself accountable, team. And um, I was speaking to the owner of GoWod when we were at the Dubai Fitness Championships, and he was telling me all about it. And I said, all right, then I'll give it a go. So um, the idea around it, is that you take the test and it tests your mobility in all areas like your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your ankles and then off the back of that what it does is it tailors a program for you every day to be able to then work on your target areas as well as keeping the other areas supple. As you know I've been dealing with this left knee and um, I just thought I'm gonna do it every day up to the British and just see what happens. This isn't an ad, this is just me doing it. Alright, the compass. That's terrible compared to the video. Right side. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Carla. That's it. Oh, the wall squat. Uh-oh. Carla has severely lost interest. Can she do that? Yep. She can get her knee down to her foot. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I am well off. <laughs> you have a go. I think that's impossible. Go on, have a go. What? Like that? No, how'd you do that? Well, that's much better than mine. I think my hip external <laughs> rotation is a bit tight. <laughs> Apparently, my hip rotation is the worst. What's going on here? Hey! This is why we got Raya. And she's not disappointed, have you? You two just play all day. That is a good chicken burger, isn't it? Korean mayo, buttermilk crispy chicken, and some salad on a brioche bun. Jazz knows how to do it. Testing the ankle flexion. How people can... How people can do that from 10 centimetres away from the wall is beyond me. That's five centimetres. 10 centimetres would be like... Damn. I am 71% on the mobility score. My, sh my shoulders are 67%. My shoulders, I feel like my shoulders are my tight area. My overhead position is 83%. My hips are 55%. I think it's that external rotation. My posterior chain is 88% and my ankles are 50%. All right. And then you've got your daily routine. You can do a pre-workout and a post-workout if you want. What are you doing? That is daddy's flip-flop. What the heck is she doing? Carla, do you know what she's doing? Nope. Can you go get that flip-flop back for me? Nope. Can you talk to your sister for me, please? Nope. Alright. Well, we've taught Rai how to play frisbee and fetch, ready? It's an update over the last couple of days. Bacon, chicken, sausage, beans and bagel for breakfast. Yep. If you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, weightlifting. Today, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to all of you watching this video. 2022 is going to be a big year. I'm going to start this year off by saying you're all absolute blooming legends. But yeah, New Year's Eve means that it's only 30 days now until we compete. 30 days we've got to go out and win. So do it. <laughs> ASMR can sounds. Beautiful Nottinghamshire. Lovely grey sky. It's a bit, it's a bit sunny today. 
Look at these, look at the cribs. Basically looks like the islands of Miami. Very similar. Very similar. What a banger. Turn it down like it's home alone. Good Christmas movie, Home Alone. Telling your best friend like girl, I think my buddy is oh. Morning. Morning. Well. <laughs> Just sat here pondering life. It's technically afternoon. What time is it? Ugh. It's that weird time between Christmas and New Year where you just no idea what day or time it is. Yeah, you've got to, it's obviously New Year tomorrow. What's your resolution? Consistency. We had this conversation yesterday. It's going to be consistency in eating. <laughs> uh, no, I just want to get consistent with my lifts and probably yeah, get because you fitter. snatched a hundred, didn't you, whilst we were away? Big lads. Oh. About time. I think there's about videos about 20 misses, so yeah. I think it's a long time coming. Yeah, so if we can get consistent with that, consistent with eating good food, vegetables, and sleep. Sleep would be a good one. You sound like a six year old. I know. I sleep. I sleep. I eat well. I eat. It's a dinosaur dance. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, good, good, good. Look at that thing shining through the door, team. We haven't seen that in a while. Not here in England. Should be someday. Yeah. <laughs> right, knee confidence. One thing that I've been doing recently especially before we warm up before any sort of squatting for knee confidence but also like single leg strength and like switching the muscles on one thing you'll find when you come back from an injury sometimes is like you'll compensate more on the other side you know like so for me especially with like the left knee i don't want to re-hurt it so then my body tend to maybe compensate to go on the right leg one thing that i'm doing to warm up single leg squat but what i want you to focus on when you do it is pushing from here hips back and down all the weight in the heels full depth back up or as far as you can go or as far as you can go so that's quite low for that people. yeah like a lot of people when they tend to do like a pistol from here they'll let the knee go and then come down what you want to do is load the hips three sets eight on each side Activating both the legs, getting the knees warm, getting the hips warm, getting the muscles firing in the pattern that you should be squatting. Warm up set's done. Now the belt goes on, four lots of five, back squat, 170. Controlled on the way down, on the way up, explosive as possible. The last couple of reps probably won't look it, but just drilling that fast mindset. What the f are you doing? Fucking hell. Come on, 
the three were right. It's crap today, isn't it? <laughs> There you go. I'm literally, I'm done today. Just recomposing. Oh. <sighs> So that's all right. I think how frustrated you were a few weeks ago because you couldn't even train. At least yeah. you can train. Honestly, it's a mix of like the first week back. Like obviously we're going to ramp, so the weights are going to get heavier, but we're starting with a decent amount of volume. But I feel like it's just the stress. Like I'm just stressed with this knee. Like I'm just, I think every lift at the moment, like I'm trying to move well and I'm trying not to think about it, but in the back of my head, I'm thinking about it. And it's just, I'm not fully committing to every lift. Aye, aye. It's a lot of stress and pressure when you know that you've got a time frame as well though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, uh, I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if we didn't have a competition in 30 days. Like I'd be having two or three weeks just letting everything settle down, but we don't have that time. So it was just fine. All right, the, the squats felt fast today, felt really good. The snatch, I was actually really happy with 110, just hitting triples. Like, that was the big nerve-wracking thing for me because that was the big thing that would be affecting my knee and then that, I just, I'm just tired. Just tired. Head games. Look at that sweat. That's not even a design, that is a circle. And then there is some down there as well. It's like a face. That's crazy, isn't it? Whoa. Composed, we're back training again. And we're good. I need some intra workout carbs in, in the future. This was a big session. And it got me. But we don't quit. I'll tell you what, that was a hard session to end out 2021. I got buried numerous times, but there was a lot of decent reps in there too. It was like a one of those sessions where kind of my first session back properly snatching decent amount of volume on the squats and then there was a lot of squat cleaning jerks which just finished me but it's all right yeah another day another win oh it put its head in i'm also on the curb never mind don't put that in the vlog look look it's a little carla it's a little carla ordering some shinken nuggets oh i loved him so much. look at his fluffy little head <laughs> excuse me Excuse me, can I have my shinkin? Can't see him. See